Today we're going to have a look at positionally specific for the hooker and looking at their hooker, hooker throws. So when we're doing this, all you need is a rugby ball, as you can see here, and just the ground. Okay. So the reason why I'm doing this on the ground is just so that I've got a little bit more space before the ceiling, because obviously you don't want to hit the ceiling or sort of do it from standing up and have no sort of space to go and annoy your roommates, your, your um, family if they're in the room above you. Or alternatively, the other thing is, whilst we're on the ground as well, what we're trying to focus on when we're actually doing our hooker throw is when we're standing with the ball, we don't want to take the ball back behind us before we then throw. What we want to do is we want to focus on having the ball above our heads or just behind our heads and then making sure that we go forwards from there and finish with a nice follow through. And when the ball goes up, we should just catch it, go back and go through it again. So let's have a see, let's have a see what it looks like in action, okay? So all I'm going to do, lie down the ground, Okay, make sure nothing around me in terms of lights or anything like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to have the ball directly by my head, sitting nice and still, all the way up, and then follow through and catch. Follow through and catch. Follow through and catch. Dear is, when we're following through, we want to make sure that our hands go to create a nice tight spiral. They go all the way through and they sort of put the wrist sort of point outwards when we follow through. Then from there, we take it back catch it nice sort of keep the elbows nice and tight behind our head throw forwards twist the tw uh, sort of twist our wrists outwards and then catch the ball and bring it back okay and then to progress on from that what we can do is potentially just come and sit down so all that we're going to do in this one is you're now going to sit down in the seat and just with the ball just throw the ball up into the air maybe not quite like that one there we go perfect so you just want to throw the ball a little bit behind you, start behind your head, throw forwards. Notice how I'm not taking the ball back before I do it, starting directly above my head and focusing all about the follow through and then catching it and having another go. Okay, like I say, just be mindful of things when you're throwing the ball around. Okay, make sure there's no lights or, or anything around you that you can hit. Just make sure that you've got the ball nice behind your head and throw it. Focus on that follow through and the technique behind it. And then if you want to, to progress that on, you can go outside and maybe try and have some target practice towards a tree or maybe even if you're lucky enough to throw it towards a human from there okay but if you don't have those all you have is a rubber ball these are good ways that you can just practice your hooking skills